And that's not, wait, how'd she see me? How'd she see me? No. <laughs> Great. I'm glad that hopping on the desk is the thing that thwarted her attack of me. Hey guys, welcome to GT Not Live, where you might notice a couple things. First and foremost, my voice is dead, and let me tell you about that. So, um, when you have a sick three-year-old, and you fight your darkness to make sure he's okay, sometimes that gets into your throat, and doing good, but now I have a sultry Markiplier voice instead. I don't know, is this sultry Markiplier? This is like discount Markiplier, like I would say. Sickly. Sickly Markiplier? No. I will, I can, I can milk you. Sup, hey, hey guys. Oh no, FNAF! I, oh, it's so scary, FNAF! Is that not Markiplier? Is that a Markiplier quote? I know. Oh, so scary, FNAF? No, the milk one. Oh, I can milk you? That yes. That was, okay. Oh, you were big, just saying that yeah. that was a reference. No, 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 that's a reference. Or like, oh, big brain time. Big, big time for big brain. Big brain time. It's pretty yeah. good. Pretty good, yeah. right? So, uh, so one, my throat has, uh, you know, descended down into my nether region. Mmm, that was not the right way to phrase that. <laughs> what, was I, what was I trying to say? I'm so tired. I can't help you out with Here, that one. Hold up, just scrap it. This all sucks. I liked it. Did you? Okay, you can cut it or you can cut whatever. I, I don't know. So, the other... If, if I'm a little bit loopy this morning, and also contributing to my deep Markiplier-esque voice this morning, sick, sick applier voice this morning, is the fact that... It, I've been trying to get the game to work. Uh, we reached out to Steel Wool telling them about the glitch, and it was indeed a glitch, that stopped our progress at the end of last episode. They acknowledged it was a glitch. They're like, hey, update the game. We did that. The glitch did not go away. And so we looked online, and we saw a lot of people being like, hey, go back to previous save points. And so I went back to, you know, at the top of that hour save point, and got back through all that hour's worth of gameplay, and then, nope, nothing there. So then I'm like, uh, okay, let me go back a couple hours. Unfortunately, I wasn't doing a whole lot of new save states, so I went back to, like, midnight in the game and took it from there, played all the way back to where we were, so that was about, like, two hours worth of gameplay. Nope, nothing there. It was still glitched. So last night, uh, I went all the way back to the very beginning of the game, uh, and got to the division point where you can make the choice to go up into L chips, uh, which is what we did the first time, or down into the loading dock, which I'm assuming we were going to get put on at some point later in the game uh, because we had chosen the other path. And now we're going down into the loading docks just because I hope that this solves it because we're approaching the problem from a different angle. I don't know. I do know that at the very least, today's episode will have a bunch of new stuff because it's a whole route in the game that we haven't taken. And then I'm hopeful, because I'm assuming as soon as you do this route, they'll send you back to the top route. Maybe we can do like a quick montage or run... Because let me tell you, I got pretty darn fast at doing that top route because I did it like three or four times last night uh, at three in the morning. So, you know... <laughs> I'm dealing with a lack of sleep, a little bit of sickness in my throat, and also I'm a little bit loopy because I've been playing the same level of this game a whole lot. Whoo boy, Matt. Clap and a half for Matthew Patrick. Thank everybody. you. Thank, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> we did it at the Man, same time. You know, you know, you know what you said to me the other day when we were doing the Christmas tree episode. What did I say? When when you're like, man, you in the kitchen is stressful to watch. <laughs> Because of how, like, not elegant my baking strategy is and how aggressive and, like, awkward I am in the kitchen. Yeah. Watching you do that <laughs> clap and a half was I'm... one of the most uncomfortable, <laughs> awkward moments I have ever had. It was a full body experience. <laughs> Dear viewer, would that you could have seen what I just witnessed? I didn't realize that a clap and a half had, like, a whole, like... I like, have headphones on and I'm holding a microphone. That doesn't have anything to do with like body your torso. Watching. Like you, you did like the worm Listen, while standing up. Play the game, video game man. 
<laughs> also, I, I I feel like Matt, you're you're so talented in so many ways. Thank you. Uh, I, you're I, about to say something mean, aren't you? No, no. You're so. This isn't mean. You're so talented in so many ways. Yeah. The one, the uh, it, video games. I'm so bad at video. Video games. games is not it. I'm so bad. At the them. the brutal truth of this is like I I feel like we need to bring someone onto the team who you know <laughs> can can stay up till four in the morning doing replaying the section that I've played through so I don't have to do that and <laughs> also wake up at six in the morning to take care of the kid. I gave it my darndest. You didn't know, really and and here's did. the thing. I when you said, "Hey, I will take the controller away no, from you," I saw in I, your eyes that you were concerned. I I knew, I knew what was gonna happen, and I had mentally prepared for like okay, when this doesn't work and I come back, you know, from, like, dinner and putting Ollie to bed and it's 10 at night and I have to start in on this, I was prepared for that. But, yeah. but here's the thing. You tried, I, I and, that, and you tried your hardest, and thank that is you. all, and that's, that's all that matters. Yeah. So, like, I appreciate you doing it. Well, thank you. But that being said, if anyone in the greater Raleigh area wants a job playing video games... <laughs> this isn't the first time that that's happened. No! Like, no! We really could use somebody. <laughs> right? Honestly. Like, there's a lot of, like, replaying of sections of video games that I need to do, because poor Matt is great behind the camera, uh, and is great... Talking about video games. Yeah. But the playing. Yeah, the playing. Hard. Which, I mean, goes to show you how bad he is because you all see how good I am at games. <laughs> no, I ate my words. I definitely did. No, I appreciate it. Uh, so, anyway, without any further ado, let's go down into the loading docks uh, to catch you up. This is shortly after uh, the daycare, which I had to do again and was miserable to do at three in the morning. Um, this is also immediately after Vanny catches us for the first time. Uh, or the security guard catches us for the first time, and we have to escape through the vents uh, using the screwdriver. So you have not missed anything. I'm literally right over here. So instead of going up, I just went down. Okay. So here we go. So we're going through vents again. Cool. Very exciting. I'm also going to try and. Make the gameplay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to play pretty quick. I know I've been spending a lot of time like digging for secret items and lore and stuff, but at this point, not... Music man! See, you get music man. Music man! Yeah, buddy! There he is. See, this is this is what it was all for, man. Yeah. This was it. Okay, let me is he here. little? Uh, usually not. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, in the trailer he wasn't. The event is small though, no? Correct. So a pair new character alert. Whoa. Mini Music Man. Mini Music Man. Okay, so this is all new. We have not seen this. Uh, this is a different chunk. I like that there's there's so the same spots are kind of strangely spaced out where it's like you know, the the whole opening of the game was a challenge to get to, and now all of a sudden it's like, hey. You did a short vent runaway section. Make sure you save between those. Uh, okay. So we're down in the loading dock area. Uh, also, because I've restarted the game at this point oh, numerous times, um, there are certain things that I may have picked up the first time that I might not have the second time in for the sake of expediency. Um, I, but I did also find a couple new things as well. So like nothing, nothing particularly ear shattering. Like an extra trinket here or there, but nothing exciting. So, what is this? Fizzy fast. Oh, the thing that I found actually, the biggest thing that I found was the upgrade to the flashlight that you guys were all trying to tell us during the live stream. Like, hey, there's an upgrade to the flashlight in the daycare, which is good because you can't get back to the daycare after you've beaten it. And so I got a flashlight upgrade. It was actually hidden on top of one of the towers, and he had to do some, like, geometry jumping to, to get up there. So my flashlight is a little bit stronger now, which is cool. Uh, meanwhile, this is interesting. It's a secure... What is this? What type of office is this? I know I said I'm going to speed through things and not look for lore, but I am kind of curious what... Looks like a production center, like a live. This looks like a live streaming booth, doesn't it, Matt? You know it does. I was thinking that last night when I was playing the game. Yeah. Um. There's a lot of rooms. There's a lot of rooms. Yeah, with a lot of things in them. Yeah. Like, in what world would the mall have this big room? I mean, it's it's a 
It's a mall, but it's also, okay, here we go. I, I hear Chica's around. Like, why are there silos in the mall? Well, these are, so I can probably tell you that since we're down in the loading dock area, it's probably some sort of like, no, 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 no. Hello. She had, okay, she's going this way. Oh, God, get out of here. Why, why? So I would say that this, for as wacky as it sounds, I think these might be pizza sauce vents. Like, or pizza pizza sauce vats. And that's, wait, how'd she see me? How'd she see me? No! <laughs> Great, I'm glad that hopping on the desk is the thing that thwarted her attack of me. <laughs> um, that's amazing. So, so, like, so it's a pizzeria, so it's one part giant, so it's one part giant restaurant, it's one part mall and show, like big live show, right? And, and TV production and music production. So it's a big production office. So they must have hundreds of employees. They mu oh yeah. No, I mean, as far as an operation goes, it's, it's enormous. Yeah. Yes. But it's also like a multi-stored, mm -hmm. like, it's the same thing as a mall, right? So, like, you have a food court that has to be, you know, staffed by a bunch of people. You have, uh, you know, a Chuck E. Cheese-style stuff, all that. Are they, like, business-wise, are they doing well? At this point in the story? Yeah. Which I, I think is, so I think this is the end part. Like, this is the latest, last in the timeline. Um, are they doing well? Because this must be expensive, yes. no? Oh, abs I mean, yeah. Absolutely. To put on a production, like, you know how much yeah. it is to put on, like, St. Jude alone, yeah. right? And they've Buzz. got pizza sauce vats. Right, they have pizza. So, and the reason I say that those are pizza sauce vats, which seems kind of crazy, um, is because they, uh, in Fazbear Frights, there's a whole story about how in making their pizza stuff, there are giant vats of boiling pizza sauce that someone falls into, mm. gets boiled alive, gets boiled alive into the guilt of that scenario causes, it's like a telltale heart scenario where she feels really guilty that she never told anyone because she thought that people were gonna like yell at her or get her in trouble. And then she eats a pizza made of her friend's sauce because that's this franchise. And, uh, and so that's what I think those, those are pizza sauce vats. Oh, especially since we're near the kitchen, actually. So mm. since we're near the kitchen, I think that that's just like sauce supplies. Do, does the general public consume her? In the in the story, yeah, like presumably, yeah. So she falls into a vat of boiling sauce, yes, and it's a giant vat. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, presumably her her sauce, mm -hmm. she's mixing the sauces. It's it's a weird little detail. Apparently, they have a make your own like freeze dried like pizza service kind of where it's like I go online and order a oh. pizza and it gets shipped to me like, so it's like a, a week later. Operation. It's like a nationwide operation. Okay. I don't know if this is the same thing, but like the scale at which Freddy's is operating mm. is massive at okay. this point. So that's why I would say that that's a thing. Okay, let's take the security. So taking the security badge usually means that there is a mini game attached. And see, oh, it, and it's got the online thing, order now. So this actually seems to tie into that. Okay. Freddy, are you there? Okay, security badge means yes. Oh, I'm only at level that's two. Trapped. Chica found me. There's only one security door. Okay. How unfortunate! How unfortunate! Oh, so okay, this is the thing. How is that? So this is actually part of the war. Chica loves pizza. <laughs> Chica loves pizza. Great. All right, let's operate the pizza bot. I guess. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plus Quick Delivery Virtual Ordering System. Hmm. Congratulations, you have qualified for a free Supreme upgrade. Additional charges may apply. Okay. Let's get started. What? You are now in control of one of our highly qualified pizza making staff Add bots. Sauce. Okay. Follow the instructions on the left side of your screen to force the bot to make your perfect mouth watering pizza. <laughs> what? I mean, this is the future, ladies. Okay, there's an oven. Ooh, there's a secret lore bit. Where's the sauce? Oh, the sauce! 
Okay, add sauce. This is just Happy's Cold Burger Bar. I was gonna say, this is, <laughs> right? I feel like I've seen this before. Okay, add sauce. Now for some cheese, yum. Okay. Oh, this is wacky. This is so wacky. I kind of love it. Hey, let's make a pizza pie. Right, it's Happy Humble's Burger Barn, except for, you know, a little bit more laid back because of pizza. Freddy's Pleasant Pizza Barn. Pizza Warehouse. Pizza less meat. Is it more chill than a burger? Is what more chill than a burger? Pizza. Pizza? That's oh, yeah. Just clean. I, th I think so. Then a burger? Makes you right. For the not meat stuff. Time for the. Wait, what is the nut? Oh. Oh, not meat. <laughs> the not meat. <laughs> spam? It looks like spam. Time to bake an oven would be ideal. Or we could just set the entire place on fire. We can just set it all on fire. That is the Freddy Fazbear way. All right. I think we got this. I think we, I feel good from a timing standpoint. Do I have to deliver this to her? To ensure a safe and timely delivery, our cutting edge pizza tracker allows you to deliver the pizza to your own home or residence. Additional mileage charges may Yeah, so this is actually established in canon with Fazbear Frights that you like order it online and they send it to you from wherever. <gasps> Give me pizza! Oh my gosh. If How would you rate your service? Pick two that apply. Pizza, pizza party. This reminds me. Have you ever seen this meme? This is an old one. You might have to look this up on your own. Because I can't show it on the stream. It's a uh, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen mm -hmm. slowed down. Here, I'm sorry, do not disturb. A slowed down version of a song in one of their made-for-TV home videos uh -huh. about where they say, Give me pizza! P uh, it's like a super slow-motion version. Yeah. It is one of the most... It's it's like early-day like YouTube poop-style mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. where you just found this like random piece of media and you did stuff to yeah. it. It is delightful and hilarious. YouTube poop was really an underrated genre. Oh, 100%, right? It's so... Silly. It's oh, it's so ridiculous. Yeah, but it's great. Speaking of, I mean, Salad Fingers isn't necessarily YouTube poop. Oh no, absolutely not. That is an actual narrative. We rewatched the whole hour long yeah. salad, salad Fingers last night, I including the new episode because there's a new episode. Oh, is there? Are they still making mm -hmm. content? Yeah, like once every, I'd say like maybe one a year, or maybe one every other year. Oh. No, well, whatever the compilation is on YouTube, that's all of them. Okay, it's the one that we watched. Okay. And how, a lot how did, of stuff. How does it hold up? You know, it's a lot less scary than it was when I was a kid. Go, go figure. I know. But when I was, like, a child on the internet, yes. unsupervised, uh -huh. Salad Fingers was the scariest thing I'd ever seen in my I mean, life. the thing is, you say it's, it's scary or, like, it's lost its scare. I mean, I was watching it, because we did episodes of it a couple years ago, right? And, I mean, it's, it's got that disturbing randomness that I, to me is some of the scariest things that you can mm. you can have right is that like absurdity uh, uh, raw animation things don't quite make sense yeah. or fit together and so there's this like unsettlingness in the way the narrative is delivered to you mm -hmm. um okay get to the control doc i feel like there must be something around here though uh but yeah yeah, no, the, the, him scratching the rusty spoon and stuff didn't freak you out? Well, I think that what it is is that I've become a little desensitized <laughs> to that. T tell me about it, yeah. that is the internet. No, it's, it's so true. And, and you and I working mm -hmm. here and doing what we do mm -hmm. have to expose ourselves to it so much. Yeah. And, like, to a lot of weird corners of it. Yeah. yeah. But when that was, like, the first experience of, like, internet Ooh, horror it's still there. Uh -huh. that I'd had. Yeah. It was like like earth shattering. Oh, like, absolutely. I was so I, I remember when Salad Fingers first came out because I'm I guess that old I guess mm. because it was an early Flash series, and it was one of those things where I heard everyone talking about it and how terrifying it was, and I uh, I refused to watch it because mm. I was so scared mm -hmm. by the prospect of it. 
Here, I'm just going to collect this. I'm assuming you're distracted with your pizza. And your trash. You're just not eating, you're not eating pizza anymore. You're just eating garbage at this point, Chica. Like, you've really, you've really got a question. Chica. Do, I found the loading do, do we need to talk? I feel like there might be a need for an intervention voice, here. I don't see a way to get out. Like, there's healthy eating habits, and then there's not healthy eating habits. Okay, so there. What else do we got? Um, but yeah, I refuse to watch it because I'm like, I don't want to put this like nightmare fuel in my head because once it's in there, you're not getting it out, right? Yeah. All right, so here. And there wasn't a safe spot, so okay, we'll just keep going forward with this. I think so. There's a funny locked box with a bad. Okay, so I gotta be level seven, it looks like. Turn to Freddy. Uh, we left him off in his charging station on the top floor outside of... Th this was after the daycare sequence, so he's up there. Also, when you say there's a lot of rooms, Matt, like, let me tell you, this is actually incredibly accurate. So, now that the video's out, I can talk about it. But, uh, you know, as part of Mr. Beast's million dollar, like, uh, creator games, um... We played hide and seek in a giant football stadium, right? And it was a, without, oh, hello. It was without, ex, without exaggeration, a 24 hour straight shoot. 24 hour straight. Like the first half of the day from nine until nine, let's say like, uh, well, yeah, like nine until eight, let's say, was the first 10 mini games that decided who was going to be into the finals. Um, and we did our talent, did the talent show with Dr. Phil. We, we launched babies off the top floor, launched like little baby dolls uh, of ourselves. We did all sorts of wacky. Uh, oh, hello! Shoot! 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 No! 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 Don't move this. Okay. Um. Oh God. Okay. There's got to be some here. But so that was the first. That was the first half of the day. And then the second half, starting at like 8 p.m and going until the day was over, like going until everyone was found. So literally from eight at night until six in the morning, it was hide and seek. And it, it was, that is brutal. it was, all, so it was literally a straight like 24 hour shoot. We got like maybe an hour break in there for, for lunch or something. Oh shoot, where is she? Oh, no, 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 um, but the, the cool thing about that, right, is the SoFi Stadium in LA is, wait, do I have to, oh, oh, I see where I am at, okay, this is fine, I didn't lose any progress, I just have to, I, I was looking for where things were before, um, but the cool thing, so it's a brand new stadium in Los Angeles, and there's this, like, beautiful performing arts center right next to it, um, and we had access to literally the whole thing, and when I say the whole thing, I, I mean the whole place. Uh, all the security offices, all the like, where the players' families, like the, the football players' families, put their kids for daycare, um, to the owners' suites, where like the, the owners of the team go to watch the games. And it's like this enormous, beautiful, like you've never been to a sporting arena that has looked or felt anything like that experience where it's this like multi-room lounge with private chef like the private chefs weren't there but you could tell like where the they go um here. it was crazy I, st I stole some candy from their candy wall nice. stuff stuff that didn't make the cut i stole candy from their candy wall um in the owner's suite but i explored I every so. single room and so many of the i mean so many of the underworkings of stadiums or giant malls like this look like this right yeah. Just like massive and again, like, and if you're playing hide and seek, think about a human being hiding here, right? You could hide in every single box. You can hide behind every single piece of machinery. You could hide in every single, like, behind, like, underneath those tarps, in those barrels, like, and probably not in those barrels, but in every single trash can. I had a system where I just methodically, because I hid in the trash can for a couple hours, um, but they made us change places at a certain point, and when I had to change places, that's what got me busted. 
I couldn't get into my new location in time. Um, but it was one of those things where Sorry, let me, oh shoot, shoot, let me focus. Oh God. Which way is she coming? She's coming this way. Go, go, go. Okay. Um, but you, you know, I had a system where I had checked, because I actually was inside of a trash bag, inside of a trash, like I sandwiched myself between a trash bag and another trash bag uh, inside of a trash can, because from the outside, where, where's she at? Where's she at? Shoot, 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 shoot. She's walking close to me. Shoot, 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 where's she at? Hold up. Okay, she's literally right there. So she is right. No, oh, get out of it. I mean, what could I have done? Shoot, damn it. It's okay, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. But, uh, but anyway, I, I was inside of a trash bag, inside of uh, a trash can, cause, and then I put trash on top of me. Like, had I not had to change and had, a, got, had gotten a chance to, like, redo things, I, I think it would have worked. I know Mr. Beast in, his, in the final video is like, don't hide in a trash can. The only reason why was because was they hadn't seen my hiding spot. Um, no, because from the outside you would look into the trash, because no one was actually feeling inside the trash can. I recognized if you, like, looking on the outside, the trash can had little holes, so you could see, like, a little flesh tone mm -hmm. if you had looked into it. So I'm like, well, I have to disguise myself by hiding inside of a trash bag. Dog. And There's then it was, there are some big garage doors you know, if I look inside of it, you'll be able to see someone. Like, if you looked inside, you would see someone. So I'm like, let me put myself in a trash bag and then so. so from the outside you can't There's see and then let me hide under edge. another existing trash bag so if you look into it you can't see it was done in a safe way like the I could still breathe dedication that you have to things and then I put and then I had someone put trash on me so that way when they looked in the trash can because I'm like in a stadium this big there's no way anyone's actually physically feeling in as long as it looks like yeah. a used trash bag mm -hmm. no one's gonna suspect otherwise and so I would have been there Literally the whole time. Um, so what you're saying is you were robbed. I, 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 Matt Pat was robbed. I was the first to be... Like, when they said switch places, yeah. I was real... Because it took me a while to get get my system set up, but so I'm like... covered in trash. I Yeah, I was... Right. <gasps> I was covered in... But I was covered in trash, and I'm like, I got this. Yeah. And, and so when they're like, change places, I'm like, I, I can't reset this. Mm. Or it, it's going to take me time. And it just, lo and behold... I wound up in the one, in the one place that Mr. Beast like looked. He like rounded the corner in the huge stadium, and I'm like, I, I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time, unfortunately. So what you're saying is we should start a massive grassroots movement to actually crown Matt Pat the winner. Uh, because yes. You were cheated and swindled. No, no, it's <laughs> totally fine. I think you were cheated and swindled. That, well, that's your words, not mine. I'm upset for you. This is this is. Well, Matt's, go, Matt's opinion is Matt's alone. I'll go one on one with Mr. Beast. Shoot, hold on. Okay. Okay, where's she at? Nope. Go, go, run, run, run. Go, run. Okay, where's she at? Where do we get out of these bathrooms? Where, oh, ooh, 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 is it here, is it here, is it here? Get out, get out, get out. Yes, are we out? Are we out, are we out, are we out, are we out? Oh, come on, come on. Oh, come on, is it over there? Can I get out over there? Ooh, go back to your pizza, Chica. Go eat your pizza. Just eat it. Okay. okay, okay. I think we got through. So now, so now the question is, where do we go next? Okay. Where do we go? Oh, we got a box at least. Oh boy. Hey, old poster. Fred Bear's Family Diner. 
That is deep lore cuts right there. Wait, 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 wait. Chica, where you at, girl? Chica, where you at? Chica, where you at, girl? I feel like Chica's the it girl of the game. Okay. What? Like, what does that mean? The it girl. The girl everyone wants to be. She's the diva. She's the, she's the girl that everyone, like, she's the fashionable, gotcha. the fashionable one. No, okay. totally. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Not Roxy. No, nah, Roxy's, Roxy's the tryhard. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. No, 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 no. The amount of self, positive self-talk that Roxy needs says that she's not getting it from, gotcha. she's not getting enough from external, yeah, mm -hmm. she's not getting enough external validation. Uh, okay, okay. What about Monty? I mean, Monty is the, the, it, the it guy, mm -hmm. certainly. Mm -hmm. Like, he's... He's, he's buff. He, oh, he's a buff guy. I mean, he's, he's, a, big, he's, a, he's a big boy, mm -hmm. you know? He works out. I just realized that they like built them that way. Well, well, how else are you gonna, no, yeah. you know, attack attack small children and their families? But he's yeah. not working. Wait, out. wait, what? You didn't see me? What are you talking about? Why would you have seen me? Wait, no, no, okay, all right, okay, okay. Here we go. What do we got going on? I think we're all through there. So now, one forty-five. Wait, what's what? Take a map. Take a map. Yes, thank, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, ex ah, okay, so Vanessa caught us. Okay, so that's like the end of that chunk. So now, okay, we're stuck in this, so we're at 2 a.m. So presumably it's, it's gonna go through this. So this is what we've done. So we got through the new chunk. That is the new route that we went through. Here, yes. Yeah, no, we should be good. The problem now is the next sequence, because I've done this a couple times, is where we find Fox, or we find Freddy broken behind Roxy's raceway. We go through the tunnels, we go through that obnoxious Roxanne tunnel, and we get a pass, which opens up the stage, and then we have to go up and down the stage. So, I, forgive me, I've done this a couple times. This is where Banny chases us. I'm just gonna, great, I'm just gonna phase through that. That's totally fine. Oh, Vanny's so spooky. Oh no, Vanny, don't get us. Oh no, oh no. Okay, that's fine. Like I said, I've done this sequence a couple times. I know where kind of the exploits are and where I can run. I think this is at least time number five, so. But yeah, one of the coolest things about doing that, outside of just getting to play hide and seek in a, in a cool location, is getting to see behind the scenes of these, because I, it's not super glamorous, but I love seeing the inner workings of things, and one of the things I really appreciate about this game is exactly that, like getting to see the inner workings or like see them recreate the inner workings of, you know, a mall scenario and getting to play basically a hide and seek style game here and doing that, right? Um, but man, there's so, I, I dug through trash, I d dug through dumpsters, so much. And and the thing is, too, is so I had this system where I went through every trash can, I opened up everything, I opened up every cabinet in every lounge, because Rosanna's small, and so I opened up every single cabinet in every single lounge, and I had my system to show, because every room is a replica of the other rooms, because it has to be standardized. And so, with minor exceptions, everything kept repeating. And so you would go, walk around not knowing what you had checked or not checked, and so I flipped up every door, like every trash can, I opened up every cabinet, and you could tell where I'd been. The problem, though, became you, at the, people were allowed to move. And so the other challenge with all of this was, once you found a hiding spot, you could then change your hiding spot. And so even if I had gone through things, I would have to go through them again. Like Rosanna moved to an x-ray machine, after I had checked the x-ray machines like two hours before, right? So it was this constant game of like, you know, are people staying in their places? Are they moving? What's going on? Uh, so it was, it was really fun. I will say the stadium is also really nice uh, because it's not every day that you go to a, a you know, a, a, a sports arena and it smells new. Usually it smells of like sweaty gym socks. Uh, or something like that, but no, this this actually smelled like you know fresh rubber gym stuff. So that was cool. 
Um, do you go to many sporting events, Matt? I'm curious. Um, well, not of recent because of of, of course circumstances. no, of course. But like in normal circumstances, I really like like minor league sports. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. I'm not a big like I I've never been to a, a proper like football game or whatever. Really? But I love like minor Freddy, league baseball. Are uh-huh. you okay? I love being given a place to yell. Yeah. So right. Worried. Here we'll talk about that for a second. Yeah. I think we've actually already had this conversation on the stream. Do you have any place to yell? Yeah. So, I, I, guess what? I've also had this conversation on the stream before, too. So, you know, true art art imitates life, I guess. Huh? I've also had this conversation like six times off stream, so... <laughs> Maybe we'll fast forward through this. Maybe this is the chunk where, like, we just play the game, and hopefully we cut to us successfully beating the glitched section. Unless you want to watch it again. I don't know if you'd want to. I mean, I have to. You have, I mean, you don't have a choice. You, you, yeah, you are stuck. But this is where we do the, like, escape through the vent sequence. We have to shock the doors. So here, Matt's going to fast forward through this, which gives me a chance to be quiet, too. Rest my voice. All right, here we are, friends. We're ready to push the button. Hold up. All right, before we push the button... Just in case anything goes awry, I'm, sorry, I'm going to save this at a brand. Uh, again, I've been doing new save slots every step along the way. This is us taking a completely different route through the game. This is a brand new game that I started from scratch. The only thing I didn't do was delete, you know, my previous files or anything like that. So, but I did start from scratch at the beginning. Took a different route. This should work. I hope. Oh no! What time is it? That moon thing's gonna get me. Please. There, on the wall. Quick, get to the wood send, send me your positive vibes. Send me all the positivity. It's like a, like a spirit bomb for Five Nights at Freddy's here. It is. It was past my bedtime when I was trying these sequences over and over again at three in the morning. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on, Freddy. Okay, follow Freddy. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh! I'm just so happy. Wait. Wait, Fred. Wait, what? I know I accidentally hit the triangle button. So I might have to do that sequence again, but there it is. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so, I'm, this whole time, I gotta be honest with you guys, this whole time, I was expecting that the like four hours that I was playing this overnight and that all this time today, I'm like, when we get to that section again, it's gonna glitch out. Like. I was fully prepared for the disappointment and sadness. And so, the, genuinely, I am shocked and surprised and so overjoyed that we get to keep playing the game. Because I don't know at that point. At that point, I, like, I've tried everything that I know to do to get through this segment. Oh! Yes! Okay. Yes! Whoo! Matt! How are we doing? Because we got through a new chunk yeah. and fast forwarded through this. We've been recording for quite a while. Have we? How long has it been? Do you do you want to know? I do. Um, well, it's been an hour and ten minutes. Okay. I mean, that's that's it. We got through a chunk of story. Yeah. We got through an hour of new stuff. Mm -hmm. So now, okay, let's, let's keep going yeah. just for a little bit. Because mm -hmm. I'm hopeful. Wait. Weren't you just dragged? Wait. Weren't you just dragged away and dead? Hmm, something is suspicious here. I don't think he's supposed to be there anymore. I don't know. I'm not touching it. I ain't touching anything. I'm going to go to the safe spot that I know is over here. Map bot. I'm going to collect this map. Take a map. Thanks, map. Utility hallway map. Thank Great you. thing. Thank you. I hate that thing. You know, I, there's other things that I hate worse than that thing. So, you know, small potatoes. Okay. 
choose another save slot. I don't know how stable this is, so we're gonna do yet another save slot. Great. All right. Let's see if this puts us on a path or if this is just like new stuff now. Um, Cause if this is the old path that we were on before, Freddy, can you hear me? Freddy's in there. I have he's to not. Get him out. <laughs> Freddy is not in there. I hate to break it to you, Gregory. We gotta have a real talk, bud. Freddy is literally still standing right here. <laughs> oh, Greg. Oh, Greg. I'm so sorry. I hate to break it to you. Your bud. He's still hanging out. Oh, that's really. <laughs> Alright, well, well then. Hey, Mapbot. He's in there! No! What, what do we got going on here? Oh, this, okay, so this is not immediately putting us on a new track. This looks... Like, I thought this would immediately go back to, like, okay, do the top route now. But this actually looks like it's brand new. So... Let's play for like maybe five more minutes, see what this is, and then we'll pick it up next time. Hey, Matt, are you on TikTok? <laughs> yeah, uh, I am. Yes. There's why? a TikTok. Have you seen the. Wait, oh, no, the there's table. something here. Oh, no, the table, it's broken. No, I have not seen that TikTok. There's a TikTok of a little kid going, oh, no, the table, it's broken. Don't ask me why it's funny, but Gregory sounds exactly like that kid. Oh, maybe they hired him. No. Maybe they're like, you know what? This one needs to hit with the TikTok crowd. It's a little uncanny. Oh, this is totally, this is totally Joy of Creation. So in Joy of Creation, which is a FNAF fan game, there is absolutely multiple sequences what? like this. I wonder if there's a Where way. it's like, watch the animatronics so that way they don't jump scare you. This is absolutely that segment. Oh, no. Oh no, don't there better not be spider animatronics. What is this garbage? Not again. Music man? Okay, I'm assuming that's mu I'm assuming that's telling me there's a music man behind me. Music man! Get out of here, music man! Oh yeah. Look at him! Look at how adorable he is! He is a little cute. He is so great. <laughs> music Apparently he spins webs too? Yeah. I'm assuming those webs are supposed to be coming from him. So, Music Man is also a spider robot? Cool. Who built him? And why? Uh, why would you not build him? I guess so. Oh, who built him? Uh, clearly it was William Afton. Evil animatronic creator. Come on, man. You know this. Purple guy. The purple guy. Okay. Hello. Alright, so let's real quickly recharge. Let's get some lore dump. Over there. And let's... Make progress in this game! We are making progress in this game! Do you think, here's a question for you, Matt. Do you think other people also had these glitches? Because I, I haven't seen, and maybe, maybe they're doing it off, because we play through things pretty uncut. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, I know Daco and Mark and stuff, they, like, cut through their playthroughs. Do you think other people are having these issues? Uh, uh, looks by like the way the Reddit nearby. looks, yes. You think so? Yeah. If I can find it seems another like security badge, a lot of people I can get into a lot party of service. Yeah. Okay. That makes me. That makes me feel. <laughs> feel seen. Uh, we paid for. So, as you can see, all of these are technically new because I haven't opened this because I've just been catching up on where we were. Uh, all food materials. We've read food storage. We have read easy money. Stolen property. We haven't done. Some, uh, someone broke into Rockstar Row Display Case and stole the wind-up toy Music Man. Oh, the wind-up toy Music Man prototypes! That was what we're seeing. The case was smashed and there's glass on the floor, but no sign of a break-in. Nothing else seems to be missing. I have absolutely no idea how they got into the building, and there's nothing on the security footage. Now what should I do? Should I call the police and report a break-in? From Vanessa. It's happening again. Uh, are you going to, this is a new one. Are you going to the staff party? I don't want to stick around after my 14-hour shift. But I don't want to get laid off. Is that, Matt, is that why you don't hang out with me? Matt doesn't have 14 hour shifts. Is that why you don't hang out with me? That's what it is, isn't it? Uh, did we do this one too? Fill the garbage compactor, prime the compactor engine by pushing the button in the kitchen, press the hanging activation button in front of the compactor. Make sure all employees and staff. Okay, so this is what we've seen from the trailer. So I'm assuming at some point in the game we'll have to compact Chica. 
because that's the one that we found in the kitchen. This is another one that I found yesterday night when I was redoing that section. This was in the rehearsal room. With Bonnie out of commission, we're making Monty the new bass player, which is interesting. Why is Bonnie out of commission? I don't know. Parts and service has already done the proper adjustments. This could be a good thing. Monty might be even more popular. All right. So now our mission is to find a way to parts and service. We need a higher security clearance. Get a security badge from the warehouse office. Great. <laughs> The endoskeleton will fix you? No, it will not. That is that is no bueno right there. Okay. Hello. Are you on the ceilings? Are are these the guys that were crawling around along the ceiling at the beginning of the game? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Now we're getting into the spooks. Now we're in the basement. Now is the stuff that you want to be freaking out about. Living spider-like endoskeletons? Oh, yeah. This is what it's all about right here. Look. Oh, he'll give you a balloon. I want a balloon with my endoskeleton friend. Hey, that wall just moved. Did it. Oh, this wall. <laughs> Gregory. Gregory. You're having a hard time understanding some basic concepts right now. Like, you know, that... that that wall that was actually very clearly a door just moved. That's fine. Ooh, hello. Hello. Hello, creepy animatronic guy. Ooh, ooh, that is that is that is pretty horrific, actually. Red light, green light. Look, we're playing Squid Game. Green light. Red light. Green light. Green light. Red light. Please, please get out of the middle of the floor. <laughs> do I have to? Do I have to have words with you right now, sir? Because you are you're not doing great. Oh, oh, there he is. See, now he's moving. Now you're moving in the right direction. Can I still exploit level geometry? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Look it's, look, it's just Squid Game all over again. Oh, there's one behind me, too. Oh, wow. I really can't take my eyes, because you are fast. You're a fast boy. Hey, fast boy. I guess your buddy doesn't move. Oh, gee! Oh, wow, that is... That's a big jump scare. Wow! That one is legitimately unsettling. Okay, hey, we're in new territory. We got through new stuff. We got past the glitch. We are home free, right, Matt? It's smooth sailing from here until the end of the game. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Well, to find out for sure, tune in next time, my friends, as we play Red Light, Green Light, Squid Game against animatronics and continue deeper into this game. I have a new lease on life. We've got this. And look, over the course of playing the game, my voice has come back. I'm all warmed up now. So just like the game was finding its footing, I found my footing. We're back next episode. Let's do it. Remember, guys, that wasn't just a stream. It wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. Thank you for your positive energy. Thank you for your support. I can't wait to continue this game now that we're through that awful, awful glitch. I'll see you next time.